this guy would stop standing for two minutes, then I would actually maybe be able to start recording. There we go. All right, guys, what is up? I've been trying to do this introduction in the last couple minutes. I'm in a shop and it is rather busy and noisy, so just gonna have to deal with it. You guys are working hard. We're gonna do a complete shop tour of Nomadic Customs. We've got a lot going on today. He's got a full crew here today. I've got my van being detailed in the back. Let's see what happens behind the scenes here at Nomadic Customs. I'm supposed to do a tour with Mark, but he gets pulled in like 29 different directions uh, every 15 seconds. So to get him on camera is not the easiest thing. So we are going to try and do this swiftly. Woo! I'm gonna get off camera in a second, but Mark here has got three vans in the work, four, four vans in the works works. right now. One's about to leave, one's about to leave, one's about to leave, and then you have four coming in right after it. And then we have four that we've been working on periodically and, and doing all the different systems and stuff yeah. in it, and so now those four will go into the finish stage. All right, so we're gonna get this guy off and we're gonna him on and he's gonna explain everything that goes on behind the scenes at Nomadic Customs, what the last year has been like for you. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> um, crazy you're in a new age. space now? Yeah. 7,000, whatever square footage it is, it's massive, it's great. Let's, oh my goodness, all right. Hey bud. Uh -huh. Hey, how's it going? Good, man. Good. You've got this awesome van that we're going to do a separate tour behind you. Well, actually, we're going to yeah. do a separate tour of pretty much all of them. Yep, Sav is uh, fluffing it up, making it look pretty. By the way, guys, it is noisy in the shop. God, people are working. So yeah, we're, this is midday. We're full tilt right now. It's kind of a reveal day today and tomorrow, and then next Tuesday, and then next Friday. So we have got four vans rolling out the door, which is pretty exciting. How tired are you? Because you've been putting in some long days yeah, here. you see these circles? Yeah, well, those are always there, but. <laughs> yeah, hey. Let's rewind a year ago. A year ago, you were where? A year ago, we were over on the other side of the St. John's Bridge. We had a thousand square foot shop. Um, we had about this much room to, <laughs> to walk around each other, walk around the van. I've been so lucky to have great people that have kind of come into the world and into my situation. You had one employee back then, right? I had one employee, uh, the man Brin. Brin over there. Um, and by the way, we'll give a shout out to all of his employees throughout yeah. the video. He's, um, he's like a ninja with wood. You gotta be careful because he'll sneak up behind you and put a chokehold on you. <laughs> Um, you have built this shop yeah. with the help of your employees. Yeah, have amazing, amazing people that I, I wouldn't have been able to get to where we are if I didn't have the folks that we have um, here. So great ingredients. And uh, it's taken a little bit to kind of get the new space going, but we went from about a thousand square feet to 14,000 square feet. Um, we went from one employee to six employees and then have three offices, one of which you're renting. I am renting one, yeah. And uh, so it's fun seeing your mug every day. Well, but I am not so an employee of no, Nomadic Customs. You're not an employee of Nomadic. You want to maybe start in the back, which is sure. where maybe we can get him on camera as well. Yeah, um, Antoine. Anthony, if you're not too busy, you want to come walk back with us? Sure. This is so, Anthony's, like, I guess... Yeah, space. This is Anthony's playground, I would say, more like. Anthony likes to do handstands and somersaults and bang on things and make lots of noise and sculpt, sculpt aluminum. Sculpt aluminum. So this is the metal portion of Nomadic Customs. Yeah, this is something that we didn't even have the opportunity to be able to do uh, a year ago. I wandered then, in off the street and Mark adopted No, literally, you yeah, did. Quite literally. Yeah, you yeah. did. We, I adopted him in about, uh, literally, probably like 10 minutes, actually. Yeah, yeah I needed yeah. to use a table saw. No, yeah. I'm... You were looking for someone. Just looking for someone. To get a light bulb or something. Yeah, something that they had of mine. Yeah. And then now and you're now, the in-house fabricator. Yeah. I'm the in-house fabricator. And it's awesome. Uh, Anthony was able to weld all this stuff up, put the table together, which I think you have some footage of him barely missing your toes when yeah. he's leveling it out. Not fun. <laughs> it's cool because now we do full fabrication. So Anthony is a magician with aluminum um, and he can pretty much get everything from stuff that you don't see like water tank racks and holding tanks and all that kind of stuff all the way up to like fabricating racks and bumpers and pretty trick stuff that he's showed me in the past. Yeah, we do. Uh... Letters. He's you make letters. At, Thank you, Anthony. Right it's very good at sculpting. <laughs> He's one of the great ingredients I have here for sure. But it's like super exciting because we do full fabrication now. 
we're on the right side of the track, so we don't got to race the train anymore. We but got, there is a train that comes got, by. There is a train that comes by, but we're on the right side of the tracks now. That's cool. Got two bathrooms, whereas before <laughs> we had to like go pee in a bush. Well, a porta potty. Porta potty. Yeah, we have well, uh, actually a his and her bathroom. Yeah, his and hers. Yeah, well, you want to just show the storage here. real quick, yeah. and then we're gonna get into the the cool stuff this on the other side. Kind of like our our line of things happening, so all the lights are off, but that's okay. I can go turn them on real quick. Sure. This is the lineup. Uh, the other area on the other side is actually not your space. Just this space uh, was for storage, and Whoa. then the other side. The whole building I am occupying, but uh, this is what I'm officially renting. Gotcha. And then that side is room to grow. This is our, our This is lineup. your lineup, man. Basically these two, this little beige one, and yours. Uh, one of those sprinters are going to be the next four that are coming right in. This is one of them that's going to go out of the shop here in the next little bit of time. I haven't showed Natalie yet on a video, but Natalie's got some space here too. She's yep. got the bus, which Natalie's, is awesome. Natalie's got a bus here that we're gonna help her out with. One, two, or three more uh, rolling in in the next like couple months. So. And I guess with the with the bus in the background, this is a good part to actually mention that you don't just do vans. You will do anything tiny. You've yeah. worked on, I wanna say six buses? Not six, I've worked on two buses and then an ambulance, and, and you've also built a tiny, how many tinies have you built? I built one tiny house, had my hands in one container house. Gotcha. All the building that I've ever done has always been kind of like more sustainable minded. Even my house, which is 900 square feet, is very sustainable and kind of built like a van. Like every single inch is, is taken used. up by something and used. The vans are kind of like the thing with the, um, that people are bringing to us the most. I love working on buses because they're kind of like building a house. Yeah. And there's so much that you can do in them, but but the vans have been our kind of bread and butter and they're super fun. They're uh, so much more versatile. They're versatile and then we just have like a good time building them too. I think that's the main thing that I kind of like get up every morning and come to work, sort of realize that all the people that are here are having a great time. We joke and play all day long, prank each other and do all sorts of fun stuff. So it's like kind of living the dream right now. Which yeah. Is... This is one of your vans that's actually about to leave. Did you want to yeah. show this off before we go over to your shop shop? Well, because... we can, yeah, I mean, there's no lights in there right now, so it's going to be kind of dark, but this is uh, one of the many vans that we've got going on. We're putting in all of these walnut window rings. Yeah, these are um, um, these are a nomadic custom specialty, I would say. Yeah, we're starting to get we're starting to get them down. I think we're gonna um, maybe try to sell them here pretty soon. That's actually gonna be on your website, which we can kind yep. of plug right now. Nomadic is with a K, everybody. Nomadic with a K customs. We're actually gonna have a an updated. Um, website here in the next probably two to three weeks. Cool. They'll have a bunch of information, a lot of stuff for sale, a lot of DIY kind of all car kits. Yeah, you're gonna have and galleys for sale. You're gonna have uh, countertops that you're gonna be able to make for people. Countertops. The window galleys, rings. Window rings. Lagoon tables. Crazy herringbone strips and stuff that we've been putting on, on the ceilings. Generation power boxes. Generation power boxes. Kind of like the whole scope or spectrum. We're gonna be full spectrum here because especially with Anthony fabrication and then we do all of our wood stuff. I just started talking to an upholsterer who's gonna start doing upholstery and we're gonna try to get him set up on the website so we can do customized upholstery. upholstery for so you're people. gonna have an in-house upholsterer soon? Yeah. Wow, and this uh, is a full tilt shop, brother. It, man, it is. I, I am so blessed. Are you nervous? I, I, <laughs> yeah, so I can, I can. <laughs> and, and also just like everyone out there that's like throwing me love and, and everything else, I, I can't even like tell you guys how awesome it is. Awesome. We're gonna do a full van tour of uh, Purple Rain, I'll call this one, but I don't know exactly the name of it. See, uh, Narwhal. Narwhal, okay. Yeah. All this jazz right here behind us actually was ripped out of a customer's van very recently, actually. You yeah. took on a project I I, uh, I commend you for because uh, it is a kind of a redo. It, it is a redo, and it, I love the DIY scene. We've all started in a DIY scene. Sure. Um, and that's, like, I want to support that however I can. 
Unfortunately, there's a lot of people out there that are, I, I would say, qualified woodworkers, but not qualified van builders. And so what's happened with this particular situation is all the wiring, there was uh, some serious fire hazard stuff that was going on. The cabinetry wasn't uh, built really to par. Some of the other things that are in it. And when you get an owner that is so excited and have watched like two or three years of videos and everything else, it's just so disheartening to see, have to come in and like re-spend the money that they just spent on getting it done right. And it, it's not anything to say that DIY or shouldn't be out there doing things and everything else. I would just say that we're professional b builders because we've had a, the experiences of making all the mistakes and in, in the process of learning and then just repetitively getting things down and and staying afar ahead of the arc as far as like finding the right equipment to bring in, materials, supplies. The people that are building vans professionally, you know, they're available, but you gotta, you gotta offer them money for their time because the knowledge and skill that you're gonna get from them to help you out with DIY projects or to help you out at certain stages of your build or um, during the progress of your build is money well spent. You've mentioned in some of your videos before too, like there's certain aspects or certain things that you definitely want to have someone tackle because they they understand and they know what electrical uh, electrical. Oh, um, by the way, and let's if you don't mind, let's uh, let's walk and talk yeah. because you are a affiliated upfitter for yeah. uh, one of our one of our other friends, uh, yeah. Van Life Tech. Van Life He's Tech. got the heated floors. I'm a, I'm affiliated with Van Life Tech, um, Tiny Watt Solar. So you can get all those components, put it, them on blast. If they're not getting emails back from them, sure. they can email you. Yeah, and they buy a Tiny Watt system, then I know how to install it versus having to find places to, you yep. know, s someone else to install or whatever. Absolutely. But yes, as far as like Troy's floors and stuff, we have floors, his floors going into, I think, six of the 10 or so builds that we have. I mean, right it's the best heater in the world. Uh, it, it is. Uh, and hot water. It, yeah. You're an affiliate upfitter for them. You now also, uh, I, I, there's not really a technical term for an affiliate upfitter for Cruise and Comfort, but you have done six of them, I believe? I've probably like a small handful, like three to four. I'm getting very familiarized, love their product. So that's been going really well too. So, next, yeah, yeah next, uh, next is, uh, you've got all these tables, dude. dude. This is so crazy. My buddy Dan came up from Tennessee and threw down and just like made some stuff happen. Our table saw table is more square footage than the largest van that uh, is made, which is I think the Sprinter 170 extended. Table saw table, I believe is 12 by 12 or 10 by 10? I think it's 12 by 12. Well, maybe even a little bit bigger. So yeah, it's massive. It's, it's definitely kind of fun. The shop wouldn't have happened without Dan's help and it just pretty much everybody coming over here and just putting in so much time and effort. That's uh, why I say I'm so lucky. For somebody that doesn't know like how shops operate and work, I notice that you have different levels of tables. What is the reasoning? Table saw table, obviously we have to match the, the saw. Um, and then the middle tables are kind of more assembly tables. The shop is in total disarray right yeah, now. Yeah, I caught you off guard, my bad. We've been just trying to get these three to four vans out. Um, so we're kind of just smoking. Middle tables are basically set up as more assembly tables yep. um, or sanding tables. Um, and then these lower tables here are set up so that we can build cabinet. And once we have the cabinet carcasses built, yep. that we're not like trying to like do stuff uh, out of reach or whatever. Or have to need a step or anything like that. Have to need a step. Gotcha. Yeah. Awesome. Um, any good shop has a clamp wall. I can't wait to make that thing grow bigger and bigger. I, I love have, clamps. <laughs> I would have this whole shop full of clamps if I could, which I don't know what that says about me, but I, I don't really care. <laughs> I've been using little details of, you know, yeah. Putting this stuff in. Yeah, that's all Dan. Dan's uh, very talented at, at making little things to hang cords on and... His efficiency. His, his efficiency yeah. stuff. Hi, Dan. What's up? How you doing? <laughs> Dan came up and just had great timing. He was... Him and his wife were supposed to go to China and uh, teach English and, and then, of course, the world... Everything happened, yeah. ...changed. It just worked out fortuitously that I needed some help and he was able to come and help. So he's been here for the last eight, eight weeks. Ninja Bryn, stealing a sander again. Yeah. 
<laughs> He's fast like a cheetah. Yeah. Step away from one minute. Yeah, you know, Dan, you left your little workstation there for a second, and all of a sudden, Brent comes in and takes the sand. <laughs> Anything to say about that, Brent? No. <laughs> Wasn't being used, was it? <laughs> That's Brent, everybody. Yeah. I mean, geez, he's got yeah. so much going on in this shop, shop table. I mean, this is our full, like, wood shop. So you saw the fabrication side. Full wood shop. We got a full array of, of all of our different plywoods and stuff that we use. Storage area up top is great because we have plenty of supplies. Little lounge area. Um, break room. Kitchen. Yeah, break room. Electrical zone, plumbing zone. Kind of the I mean, place to throw all of our fasteners and stuff. We're going to have a mega shop day. Technically, electrical zone where Anthony builds or yeah, whoever it's builds, you do it. And then like throw everything out of the vans onto a table. Any flat surface basically gets used. Yep. Matt, right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a table. <laughs> that's a telescoping yeah. table that's gonna be going into a van. This is Matt. Oh, hey, Matt. What is what? How you doing, bud? I'm good. Getting yeah. all artistic with this crazy tile. Matt's uh, getting ready to tile a shower surround in this build here that we have. So that's super fun. You're doing a shower? Yeah, there's gonna be like a little shower box. Come check it out. This is uh, a little bit different layout. Yeah, because I, you know, I kind of want to mention that you listen to clients better than most uh, professional companies I know. You listen to what their wants and needs are. Yeah, thanks and, Jared. And you, uh, like we'll step into this van right now. You have a van over here that's Jess's van that we'll show in a minute. And then you have a van right here uh that are all three different styles dude yeah this she wants to turn kind of into a cooking show so she wanted to have two separate living spaces so nice we have the the bench seat drop down table here gonna have a nice big cooking area a nice big fridge that's uh, a massive fridge it's one of my favorite fridges i've ever seen a by shower way. box uh, inspired by jared tachi himself <laughs> is it the one that opens from the top it's gonna have a cabinet that opens up yeah Dan, of course, uh, he did a video prior uh, where you guys did where we had the pull-out triple bed here. Yeah, we're going to actually uh, hopefully see that in, a, in another video coming up soon. It's kind of fun. And then this is our little pull-down table. But then oh, what's yeah. also unique is the whole thing comes out. So that yeah. we can uh, have our uh, gray water and fresh water tanks here. So, so this is definitely a custom job. Obviously, this... So many different layouts that you can do with a van are look all kind of similar but our main thing here is that we're we're building it with you for you yeah and then the other thing that i like to say is uh, there's a difference between living out of a van and living in a van and so we're kind of trying to make these to where they're very livable spaces even if they're taken off for like two to three weeks at a time or full time or just for the weekend we want people to feel like they have their sanctuary with them so nice that totally sounded like a sales plug and that was not prepared <laughs> so i'm totally like ba -bam, ba -bam. Ba -bam. do you want to show uh lisa's or do you want to show jess's um yeah we can show jess's uh, just because I'd like to see a different style, and I think everybody here would want to see a different style too. Like yeah, so you're not just you're not just like a cookie cutter van builder. In process, but uh, but this again was very much her layout. So she's gonna have a futon slash slide out bed here. Um, these are all going to be cupboards. She's a professional photographer, which check out her photography. <laughs> you can throw up her little thing I here will. or there or yeah. wherever. I'm learning all these things that you do now. So we're going to have a nice long desk here for her to be able to... I believe you're um, doing Live Edge Walnut. Live Edge Black Walnut on this. Yeah, and we're going to have Black Walnut throughout this. We used a Japanese uh, Shishugi Ban, which is like a method of burning wood to preserve it and then it has a white penithin on it. So it came out with this really nice sort of bleached uh, effect that you get all this texture and stuff. So there's really no reason to like do any colors or anything like that. But where you get um, this from, he actually, he like, I believe like yeah, there's, there's different styles, right? Uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of different styles, probably about 12 different shades of Shishugi Ban. And then you have Pika Pika, Goji Ban, I think I'm going to totally murder this and, and then something else, but it's like different levels of char, but I've fallen in love with this stuff. I'm going to have it all throughout my van. Just, we have uh, a little shower, closet air. She has the heated floors. Oh, well, that's right. She does have the heated floors, um, huh? Four stair heat, four gallons hot water, um, upper cabinets, galley area, refrigerator box slash bench, and then her sink area. 
So and this is a 170 Sprinter? This is a 170 on um, two-wheel drive Sprinter, so rear-wheel drive. And the one that we showed a minute ago uh, with the big old fridge was a 159 Pro Master? That was a 159 Pro Master. Every inch counts in these things, so we try to find everything that we possibly can to stick in them. Savannah has done some some staging for us. So this is the one that we're just finishing up today. We're gonna do a whole video on this, guys. This will yeah. be this tour will be out separately, but, but we'll step inside and show you. Super excited garage area. There's a full shower bath, closet, a little separate seating area, pull out bed that Dan did again. Microwave. I want to say that this is like doors, the works. Yeah, this yeah. is the works. This is one of your top of the line van builds. Yeah, a lot of time spent on finishes, a lot of time on just like little details like the curved shelves and the window rings again and, and some of um, the um, Do you mind if I step inside? No, not at all. Hi Savannah, you wanna say hi? Savannah, rock star, amazing person. Like this shop is running because of her. Yeah, I actually agree with that. There's there's <laughs> no way on uh, this earth yeah. that, that you would be functioning if it wasn't for her. She's the one that's answering all your emails. Uh, she's the one that's like making stuff happen. I am an artist and if anyone knows artists, I, I like to be here and do things and, and I type about two words every A minute. minute. Yeah. Um, so I'm <laughs> horrible and i'm so sorry for everybody out there that's reached out but we're i'm trying we're trying yeah how to many guess. how many how many quotes do you have to uh get to a lot a lot it's a lot. uh I so it's over a hundred now on an email i personally apologize <laughs> yeah, i will get to you soon yeah and guys they do they do care with the, the... We, yeah sorry to cut you no, off go ahead. but we have the philosophy of like you're not here to build your van you're here to like become part of our family we actually do take it personally that we can't like get back to you as soon as we want to a lot of it has to do with me I will fully admit it you know we all have lives yeah it's we're no we're no For it's like you don't <laughs> dude you don't like it's just funny though she'll get me on three or four phone calls and then I'll just like short circuit and I'll start to leave and she's like where are you going your next calls in like 10 minutes and I'll be like no I gotta I just gotta go cut a piece of wood be right back and i'll go out have a piece of wood and be like okay i feel better now yeah i'm gonna step inside uh this this wonderful van it's funny because i said to you a few times this is not your typical nomadic customs build i don't know you always seem to amaze me first off the last vans builds that i've seen that you've done the last like probably three or four i felt very like not man cave-ish but like well, more wood i guess yeah i would say the last few vans that we've done the folks that have requested them have wanted them to kind of have like a warm cabin feel to them cabin thank you yeah and so you know lots of natural wood cedars and then some people have also wanted the very like the newer kind of modern look and so black cabinetry or dark cabinetry has kind of become like the new in thing if you mm -hmm. see a lot of like pinterest stuff it's all like navy or dark green yep. or black or gray i do love that navy yeah but this is like full-on like new england this is beachy man this beach is beach vibe I, I martha's vineyard ish yeah and yeah. there's and again is, nothing is wrong with any of this no no it's so cool i actually love how this turned out we did like a pickle on the finishes um so you still is that see a style of green. like paint or stain Yep, so you can still see the wood grain and then kind of finished it off with all of sort of the this sort of sandy look, I guess, with the like with the maple. This is and one of your best van builds you've done. I mean, I'm I hate to say it. I'm pretty proud of it. I, I mean, hate to say this, but this is one of your... I don't want to hate to say it because like I know you've done some amazing van builds. I'm pretty proud of this one, but... I, what what has made it amazing, again, is the people that I have working for me. We, we've all had our hands in this at one point in the other, so it's many, many hours from seven or eight different folks, which has been really cool. And by the way, I, I see that you uh, you did a little epoxy backsplash yeah, area. Yeah, you're Tachi inspired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm giving myself more shout outs than you, but I just, I really do love uh, this backsplash you did. You, you even milled it down to three eighths of an inch, I think, right? Yeah, it's... Uh, Three eighths of an inch. Yeah, she wanted to have kind of like a river for like a backsplash. So, guys, wait until you see this van tour. This thing, a full operating shower. That is a triple bed system that yep. me and Dan did a video on at one point. Like I said, the epoxy backsplash. She has another, uh, you know, bed seating here. Air. She's got a microwave in here. Heated floors, air conditioner. I mean, 
Yeah, heated floors. I believe, floors, yeah, two fans. Heated floors, air conditioner, a couple fans, um, and then she's also got the stage two of the recycled water shower, so. She's, well, yeah, stage two, I guess, part one of the recycled part shower. Part one is, is kind of like the mechanical side. Right. Stage two is going to be the shower pan. Stage three is the mechanicals that are not available yet, but they should be in about six to nine months. She's got it in place so that when the mechanicals do become available, she can just bring it in and then get the recycled water system put in no kidding is the exact not layout but the, the mechanical same exact van same i have mechanicals is, is what you have right in my van which is crazy so all the same systems yet completely different look completely different look but it's all done look at to to um to what she wanted her specs yeah. i mean she that little divider that's by her elbow there we she drew the picture of how she wanted that shape so unbelievable we've done everything that we can to look at um, this guys like i said build build with you for you um and then that way we can kind of actually you know i don't know how you fit all this in here <laughs> i really don't this is only this guys this is a 159 well, standard i will say this these take time <laughs> <laughs> so to everyone out there that is waiting for vans or wanting to have a van definitely realize that they take some time and and uh, it's not something that you can look at like 80 square feet and be like oh no problem we should be able to throw that together um, no this is a lot of hours a lot of is. labor hours a lot of design hours and a lot of love too there's like everyone here loves what they're doing their craft there's a lot of feeling that goes into this as well it's not just stuff together you know i i think um you'll never say this about yourself i feel like you get a extreme emotional connection to every van that you that you work on yeah i mean uh when you suffer <laughs> it's not a suffer <laughs> no but you know i guess what i mean by that is the friends that you become the best friends with are the people that you kind of like go through something with right together the fact is is that we go through stuff with not only everyone here but also the owners of these vans a lot of expectations there's a lot of patience there's a lot of back and forth there's a lot of design there's a lot of figuring out where we are in life right now the last couple months has been a challenge for all of us and so not to sound punny but a vehicle of of change and um, giving people the opportunity to go out and experience what they need to experience and the ideas that they have of course i get emotional about that a different window or a different lens of how to look at the world and meet people and you i'm sure you can attest over the last three years you've, mm -hmm. you've met phenomenal people and maybe found yourself in conversations that you never thought you would be in before mm -hmm. and maybe they're uncomfortable conversations or maybe they're educational conversations um or maybe they're just like talking about ridiculous sophomore humor <laughs> conversations but either way the fact that those conversations happen that inspires me and pretty much everyone here because it means that people are actually like talking to each other communicating understanding accepting all that other stuff i can go off into my whole little tangent soapbox here but yeah these things mean a lot to me it's kind of my way of changing the world in a way wrap this up here in a minute i do want to say that mark is human uh he does have a good side to him uh he's got a dog yeah uh do. you do we haven't seen rollo today he's out somewhere i don't know where rollo is he likes finding dens yeah he does he finds the little caves and he like hangs out in them where's rollo we got him uh, leashed up right now because we have doors open he likes finding little dens so he hangs out in the bathroom sometimes he's in the laundry. is he in the office will you let him, let him rollo come here bud hi buddy yeah this is uh this, this is mark's dog rollo this is my best bud in the world it's his safe spot say hi bud hey buddy come here you sleeping? You sleeping? He's definitely sleeping. <laughs> we wake you up, pal? Yeah, he was he was napping hard. Um, no. Right. Yeah, I love him to death. And thank you so much. Anything you want to leave with? Him? Bryn, you didn't really even say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Bryn Levinson, everybody. Yeah. That <laughs> One guy. of the best artists. That guy's a rock star. He's Check a, him out, Brand Levinson Art. Yeah, he's an amazing dude. Uh, you want to end with anything, man? You want to you say? Lots of gratitude, not to step into any political arena, but just let's all give each other lots of love and gratitude right now, and, and to you, dude. Thank you. Yeah, man, absolutely, always. I love, I love uh, showing your shop off, although we got two crazy lovebirds behind us. Lovebirds. Damn it. Couples working together. <laughs> always a disaster. <laughs> oh, okay, sure, yeah, uh-huh, sure. 
Yeah. Oh, do you have to go back to work, Mark? Gotta go back to work. Oh, okay. Thanks, so, guys. Later. Fireworks.